I am deeply uh, distressed and, and, and saddened, but also um, uh, I, I protest uh, against what, what the police, but police surely as directed by uh, higher authorities, including the highest level of the government. Uh, they have done what they have done uh, at Jamia and other places. The Jamia was the first shameless, brutal attack. And now this uh, uh, incident at JNU, which is uh, another level of uh, brazen uh, attack on, 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 on uh, a movement which has been a popular movement among students, uh, which has actually displayed enormous collective uh, strength and, 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 and commitment to ideals of uh, justice. Uh, and, 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 and the right to education, to public education. Against that, this kind of brazen, physical, brutal attack, uh, though carried out by apparently uh, what they're calling miscreants, private, private individuals, but clearly, uh, again, under some sort of uh, either uh, explicit or implicit gu uh, guidance and, 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 uh, uh, and complicity of uh, authorities, whether it be the JNU authorities or uh, the, uh, uh, the levels of different levels of government, including the highest level, it seems to me. Uh, so at every level, one's spirit is uh, completely both, uh, uh, it rebels and, and it is aghast at what, what is going on. But at the same time, I must say that I, I'm as much enthused and rejuvenated by the collective spirit of uh, the, the, the people who are fighting on the streets uh, against so it's it's uh, it's a friend of mine was just saying and correctly so that this is like the people versus the government today, uh, and and uh, it is not uh, definitely not being directed or colonized by any particular political party or any uh, limited identity that we recognize as part of so-called party politics. So uh, much greater than that. So that is what I have to say. So what is the intent behind these attacks, sir? What do you think? I do not know. I cannot say. Uh, very difficult to say. One could very well be that it's an actually the intent is uh, not really an intent but a, a desperate defensive reaction against uh, collective politics, collective mass popular politics on the streets and within JNU and outside JNU. It could be a symptom of people who c cannot uh, either bear to see such kind of collective protest and collective solidarity and at the same time uh, they do not have the intellectual resources to think of how to uh, how to even carry out a, 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 a certain public uh, uh, discussion on if they are disagreeing with, with uh, a certain kind of view on things, then how to carry out a public discussion based on the disagreement. They do not even know how to disagree. So all they know apparently uh, is to do what they did yesterday. Yeah? So what will be the next step of JNUTS? That I cannot say. I cannot speak on behalf of JNUTA. All I can say is whatever the JNUTA does and it has been doing uh, a sterling kind of uh, you know, uh, work uh, as, uh, in support of the students and also asking for the resignation of the Vice Chancellor which I think is a both uh, very legitimate uh, demand but also now uh, ha the, in, under, the, under the watch of this VC now that this has happened such 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 a demand to for uh, you know for the uh, uh, demand uh, that the JNU resign uh, sorry the VC JNU VC resigns is is an urgent demand and it's the it's the most uh, um, what can one say uh, the most logical demand that common sense public common sense it's also public common sense is trying to reassert itself against an attack on on the basic tenets of intelligence. Public sir, intelligence. Yeah. Sir, why the vice chancellor of this university is not willing to talk with uh, his I, own students? Again, I do not know. That's what I'm saying. The, much of it rebels against public intelligence, public common sense. Uh, so one can only imagine that there is something deeply, um, uh, some something uh, deeply um, uh, uh, un, un, uh, unintelligent about this vice chancellor. Something deeply. Um, uh, uh, sectarian about this vice chancellor who thinks through sectarian lines, who thinks through lines of his own partisan uh, commitment not to the vi uh, to the university, but something I do not know whether it's RSS or its uh, system of thought which is represented by uh, any party like BJP. I have no idea about his uh, official, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 his affiliations. But that's on the point. He definitely does not represent a public university like Jane.
Thank you very much. But he doesn't represent uh, the the the, the uh, a public space at all. He's 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 a sectarian. He's occupies a sectarian space. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.